Hey, hi guys, Drew again from the Radio Geeks. We're continuing our series of videos looking at uh, the software of Jonathan Naylor, G4KLX. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at the software packages that, in that install alongside IRC DDB Gateway. Um, these are the packages that can run alongside IRC DDB Gateway and give us uh, additional goodies. So let's start by opening our command window. Again, I'm running uh, running through the Raspberry Pi. So uh, let's start with uh, sudo timer control, and then again our ampersand at the end. As I explained last time. Putting the ampersand there means you don't lock the command window to the one particular program that we're opening. Um, right, this is the timer command window. We need click the edit button on our menu and go into preferences. This is for the initial configuration. So I think you've watched enough of our videos now to know our IP address. Our IP address is the computer that IRC DDB Gateway is running on. Now, as I've shown before, in this instance, IRC DDB Gateway is running alongside the same computer that the timer control program will be running on. Uh, on top of that, we use our port number. Now, this is the port number that we configured initially in IRC DDB for our remote access. So our remote configured port number goes in there. And again, the password that we set up on the remote tab of IRC DDB. Now we come to the delay, disable, enable selection. If we enable this, essentially when the program first boots, it gives it a minute, maybe two minutes, before it launches the timer control software. This allows IRC to be, IRC DB Gateway to get up and run in and establish before, because if we try running timer control before IRC DDB Gateway is running, then obviously we're going to have a conflict there. So I usually run enabled. So we click OK. We get, as always, our little GUI warning telling us that uh, the changes won't be taking effect until we restart the package. So we'll exit that. OK, so now we've set up our configuration for timer control. We'll run the program again. And of course, because we've set that initial delay, it'll take a couple of moments before it uh, actually populates so, yeah. the GUI. Here's the timer control running with our GUI. Now as you can see, the way it's laid out, you have dates, times, uh, various connections. So to set a connection, we'll click the day of the week, Sunday, and we'll tell it that we want to connect at 9 o'clock in the a.m. and we'll tell it we want to connect to the UK reflector which is DCS5 Bravo. Uh, we set here the relink interval so if we're looking at uh, connecting say someone disconnects our repeater, say someone disconnects the repeater if there's no activity on that repeater thereafter, they finished with it, 20 minutes later, it will now reconnect the DCS5B. So this is your relink interval time, but that has to be, uh, obviously that amount of time would go without any other traffic being heard locally, because as soon as it hears local traffic, it resets the timer to zero zero, and we count up to the interval again. And we push the add button. And there we have it. We have um, Sunday, 9 a.m. connected to DCS5B. 
Now we can obviously instigate also a disconnect. So for example if at 10 o'clock we wanted to disconnect we can also add that to our system so at 10 a.m. it will now disconnect from the reflector that you choose. Now obviously all the reflectors are here listed but it gives you the ability for your gateway to follow any nets etc that you may have on particular days at particular times. Uh, as you can see in the drop down we've got individual days of the week, we've got every day, uh, we've got our five day week from Monday to Friday and of course we've got our Saturday Sunday so if we just wanted an instance at uh, 11 a.m. we wanted to connect to XRF 901A for example hitting that and there we go every Saturday every Sunday 11 a.m. we connect to 901 Alpha so that's all there is really to timer control of course this needs to be running uh, if this program isn't running then it won't control your IRC DDB connection so this needs to run in the background so it's probably advisable to uh, to set it to start at boot the same as you would start uh, your IRC DDB perhaps so that's the timer control program and how to use it in association with uh, with IRC DDB gateway Okay, continuing our look at the additional softwares that's installed with IRC DDB. This time we'll run up our time server program. So again, as the other program, we hit edit on the menu and we go preferences. And on this preference tab, again very similar to all the other setups we've gone through. So the call sign there is the repeater or gateway call, whatever you're running. Uh, the address is your IP address of the PC that's running IRC DDB gateway. Our IRC DDB gateway is running on the same computer as the time server program so we give it the IP address 127.0.0.1 we now configure which of our modules you'd want the time server to run with um, I've only actually got a an instance of a B module on 70 sems running on this particular machine as it's my personal gateway but of course you can configure it for all modules running under the call sign that we allocate in this box up here so we can have it going on our 23 sems module we can have it going 70 sems we can have it going on our 2 meter module so essentially this would all depend on what uh, what particular modules you run yourselves so that's the gateway config now we have the announcements config tab now the announcement tab is where we select our voice that we want to use so I'm using uh, English 1 with the USA type dialect the format drop down box controls what we actually transmit I'm only transmitting the time so this will be a voice announcement uh, something of along the lines of the time is currently 2 p.m. the car the time is currently 3 p.m. you know that sort of thing but we do have the ability we can along with the voice announcement we can also send a repeater or gateway call sign and the time in our slow text so we can have a voice announcement and we can have a text announcement if we selected this particular item from the menu or we don't have any voice prompts we can just send it as a text in our slow data field which would display on the front of your radio and then we have your interval and this is the interval that the time would be transmitted so essentially every 15 minutes 
every 30 minutes or on the top of every hour. So that's the setup of time server configuration. We click OK and again a little GUI warning saying that nothing will come into effect until we restart the program. So file, exit and back to our command window we'll start the time server and again just like timer control this has to run in the background if the program's not running obviously you're not going to get your uh, your time updates transmitted on air so again another program that you would need to put into your start menu start on boot if it's not running it won't give you the uh, the time announcements so that's the configuration of time server